Hi, Martin here. Today I want to show you how to tuck your cruise control servo. Now, that may seem a little odd, um, but what I've been working on is tucking a lot of the stuff underneath the hood of this Jeep Grand Cherokee. And you know, mostly the wiring, of course. That's very common, a wire tuck. Well, I've started out with like uh, doing the driver's side of the engine over there, then I moved to the battery which used to sit right here. And then I did the driver's side fender well there, the wires that ran along this portion of the vehicle. And now I've just recently gotten to where I've tucked the power distribution center. And while I was at it, well, the servo sat right there. Now, why should I look at that either? You know, if I'm willing to tuck all of that and believe me, this power distribution center is a big job. Um, that was huge. Might as well be tucking the, the cruise control as well. And then I got rid of the wiring, the vacuum line that ran to it. I mean, all of that, you know, the part, it, it sat right here and it's gone now. It's actually very close to me right here. But uh, let me show you what I've done to get to tuck that and uh, maybe you might want to beautify your engine compartment the way I'm working on mine I mean it's just the goal I've got here is to make the best looking engine compartment in a Jeep WJ ever just something I want to do and I want to just share it with you all right well let's get started All right, I got the uh, front fender pulled off of there. And this is the pathway we're gonna take right here as far as the wiring goes. It's gonna drill the hole right there. I'll put a grommet into this channel, come through here, and then there's a hole right there. Now come out through here, drop down. Well, then things changed. Uh, because I've been doing the cruise control tuck, I had to take a more direct route. So I went, drilled a hole through the side of the panel here that went into that channel. Placed a grommet right there, and then that shortened the cable length by probably seven inches or so. And now the cable run straight across here to the throttle body. And then all of this is hid behind the ECM once it's bolted back into place. Now I need to get some extra length on this cable. You know, I got it passing through these two holes that I've made. And it comes out to about right here right now. Well, that's a little bit short. I'd love it, you know, if it went back, maybe a couple more inches would be really good. So to get that extra length, I drilled this three quarter inch hole right here. And then I'm gonna just cut that section out right there and that way that cable will lay over here further and hopefully I gain a little bit more length on that cable. Okay, I've got all the necessary wires passed through the chassis here. As you can see, they're coming out right here. And I went ahead and then covered it with this, uh, it's a braided split loom. I'll put a link in the description below for this stuff. It's, it does a nice job, looks better than the original split loom with all the little ridges on it. This is a much smoother look. Now, I've went ahead and took all the connectors off of everything. Um, I think I'll do another video on that, how to unload these connectors, because they do vary from one connector to another, from one manufacturer to another. Ready to pass it through here. And we're gonna come out of these two holes right here. This one for the cruise control, this one that's gonna handle everything else up here. Using one of these little picks right here and grab a hold of that section of harness for the uh, cruise control.
There we go. Now this excess wire, we're just going to push it back up in here. Because the uh, servo is going to mount right in this location right here. Now one of the first things I tried to do was using the factory bracket that held the servo in the 04 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Now I cut it apart and then I placed it up here but when I put the servo on here the way the bracket is angled the servo was hitting you know the sheet metal here and it just didn't lay down very well. But what I ended up doing is going down to pick apart and looking at some of the other Jeeps and Chryslers out there like the Dodges and all that and I found a bracket this one right here and this one actually worked out well this came off a uh, Jeep Liberty and all I had to do is if you notice it it's got two bolt patterns right there you got this one here and then that one right there okay the ones with the empty holes there uh, that is the original bolt pattern and because of the way I'm going to position it right there and I want that vacuum line to go in this hole that I made where the wiring is coming out and it gives it a proper angle where I can put this in here and when the fender is mounted everything is going to clear just fine so what I did is I re-drilled those two holes right there and I used this bracket laying it on here where I wanted it to mark those holes and re-drill them. So that was simple there. Now, you got this section of bracket right here that's hanging down. Of course I can't have that and I don't want that. So we're gonna, I've scored a couple lines on there, right? There you can see that line there. I'm gonna cut that piece off and then we'll get to bolting this on here. And then the other thing I need to do is get the vacuum line run up into here and then once all that's done I mean it'd be simply you know got the cable right here attach this back on here put two bolts into here to hold it on and I think that's going to look pretty good now I need a piece of this right here I'm going to cut this mounting point off and it's going to get welded on the back side of this and I'll show you why okay with that tab cut off and I got it cleaned up right here okay and then I won't be using this existing hole here but there are two holes in the fender well already that I want to use you know no point in drilling another hole in the fender well and then having to look at that from the inside of the engine bay so but we can use one of them and that'll be right here I'm gonna weld that right on there like that and then the other hole I'll drill from the inside of the vehicle through this bracket and bolt it on and then we'll have two bolts that hold this bracket on which will be perfect Here's a close-up shot of the bracket in place. Cruise control right will go right in there. And the servo will mount here. I just gotta get that vacuum line installed from here back to the intake manifold. Okay, with the mount made for the cruise control, one of the things I got left here before I can get that mounted in place is take care of this vacuum line. Now what I've done, I've used this section of the original vacuum line. This had like a couple 90 degree bends in it. This was located right where the original servo was. Uh, one end came from the engine itself. Uh, another end goes to the servo and then the other one went to the vacuum supply. What I've done is applied some heat to this like with a heat gun and straightened it out. So this is gonna work out really well. And then I used an original section of the vacuum line. Uh, it was the only, uh, one of the only flex parts of that vacuum line. I've got it from point A here to B. And what I gotta do is just 
pull this in and then I want this T to end up right here and that way I can attach a vacuum line right there and hook it up to that servo and then the the rest of this the line will come out and I can get it down to the vacuum supply tank this end here will end up around here somewhere and then we're gonna go from here in the cowl and then back out of the cowl to the engine where it hooked up originally uh, this is all part of the tuck while I'm at the wire tuck I'm also do a you know cruise control tuck and then hiding the electrical wires and the vacuum line the only thing I'm not able to hide is the actual cable going to the engine yeah two out of three ain't bad okay right here you can see where I got that vacuum line hanging out now I'm gonna try to pull that in here I grabbed another section of vacuum line this is the same section that I got right here from another Jeep before I pull this in too far I'm just gonna go ahead and hook up the vacuum line to it okay I got a short piece of vacuum hose hooked to that T right there now I can get the servo put back in Get this cable hooked up all right got the cruise control hooked back up now I just got to finish the vacuum line part of it now what I got to do is get into the cowl here so you got to pull off this weather stripping along here just like that and I'll have to pull these caps off the for the wipers and underneath here is a 15 millimeter nut that you'll take remove to pull these wipers off and we can then remove the cowl. I'll be using the original harness or the vacuum line that ran to the intake manifold and we're going to pop that into the cowl here and run it down. I've gone ahead and applied some heat to it and straightened it out quite a bit uh, and it'll reach right over there to that corner where we need it to get to. These can be quite stubborn to get off sometimes. Um, they do make a puller for them. <clears throat> now, just using a T30, there's a few fasteners here that hold the cowl into place. Two, four, six of them. Remove those, and then you'll be able to remove the cowl. And then once you get everything removed, you can just lift the cowl up out of the way. There we go. Now we've got a nice clear path from point A to B. And I'll need to, I think I'm going to have to remove the uh, windshield wiper assembly too, because i got to drill a hole right through here. And this arm is in the way. That's just uh, four 10 millimeter bolts and one connector. Now one thing I wanted to do, other than you know put that vacuum line in here, I'm just gonna lay in here like so. And I gotta drill a hole down here now to get that vacuum line to the intake manifold. But what I also wanted to do was take this starter and the alternator wires. Um, I wanted to bring them up in here and then run them back down and hook to that connector. Well, that's gonna be prove really hard because this piece of metal right here I cannot get back as far as I wanted to I could drill a hole through here put a grommet but it's going to drop down oh kind of right above the last coil right here and that's not back far enough you know I, I want those wires back out of the way 
you don't even hardly notice them. So what I'm going to do, since I got another wire tuck coming up, you know, where I'm going to hide all of these wires, they're going to go away. And that'll be the last wire tuck. Um, Okay, here's the grill for your uh, HVAC and uh, back here this is where I want to drill well when I do that next wire tuck I'm gonna have to remove this intake manifold and then I'll be able to take like an angle drill hole saw and drill up into this section right you know back here drill a hole through here so I can run my wires through here, into there, and down. And then they'll end up where I want them. Nothing's ever easy. So for right now, what I'm gonna do with these three is just put some loom on here. I'm gonna run them across here with the uh, cruise control cable, you know, tie it to that, and hook to my connector. And that'll be good enough for now. All right, I got the line in here. Let me just show you this. Right there it is. I'm going straight up through here to right there. That actually turned out really nice. It lays down nice and low right there, and it will not be in the way of the wiper motor. So I'll get the vacuum line here hooked up. We'll get it from point A to B. I got the vacuum line hooked up there, and there you can see the finished product there. I just placed a small piece of rubber hose. I uh, just sliced it and slid it over this to just for any vibration, you know, so it doesn't uh, do any damage to that plastic line. Okay, before I put the inner fender liner in, I want to show you up here where the cruise control is, how much room I still had between the cruise and the fender well there. As you can see, plenty of room there. And then to service the cruise control, I gotta do is take the inner fender liner out and I can get to the cruise control. And here's the finished product. The cruise control servo used to sit right here. And then above that originally was the battery tray, battery here and then the power distribution center used to be right in this location. So that really opens that up quite a bit right there. Well there you have it. Got it all back together. Everything worked just like it did before and it sure looks great underneath here and I got a lot more video coming up because uh, I got the one more tuck to go and that's going to relocate the TCM all the wires could go over the engine on this side here and all the wires that go to the east them themselves uh, for the most part that's all going to go away so if you never subscribed to me before please hit that subscribe button right down there and that little bell symbol right next to it and that way you get notified the next time I upload a video and if you enjoyed this video, I sure appreciate the thumbs up. That sure helps out the channel immensely. And I'm also an Amazon affiliate. Uh, please check out the description down below where you'll find Amazon links to products and tools that I used in the video. And you can do all your Amazon shopping through one of those links. And that helps out the channel financially. Sure appreciate that. Well, thanks again, and I hope to see you on the next one.